Happy Monday. Today is an awesome day. So happy, happy Monday. And happy good morning if you're still morning. in the morning. Well, we're just talking about how excited we are about this week. How, how excited week. Lori is about the, the week. whole week I coming up. Am She's like, I can't wait for the week. And me and Rob were like, what's going on this week? She's like, everything. Jesus is just doing things. <laughs> I was like, Rob, she's love living life. Exactly that was right. so good because he gets that. So, yeah, and I am loving life. And that's we why. We should be excited for yes. the week. Yeah, I mean, God is always moving. He's always doing something. So it's take notice of him. Yeah, yeah so Lori's all stirred up. Why? I want to show you yes. a couple of photos. I don't know what you guys did this weekend, but this is what we did last night. So take a look at this. Of course, incredible. our church is on Madeira Beach, which I'll show you that a little later on where that's located. But we had a baptism on the golf. So here's some photos of that last night. This is my handy uh, cell phone. I was running around taking photos like a uh, weirdo. But anyway, uh, <laughs> some great low angle. Uh, let's just go through these real quickly. The sunset, God provided the most amazing oh, sunset for this baptism. You know, it was perfect oh. weather. It was beautiful. A little bit cool. Starting to get cool here in Florida. But look at that sunset. The rays coming out underneath. You know, we did it right as the sun was going down. And um, go forward. There you go. I mean, the arms raised, just amazing. And we had a, a tent get yeah. baptized. That was amazing. And one got saved that morning. Yes. And came in, in that night. So Come on. That was awesome. Go to the last slide real quickly, because people see this show from all over the country, and they have no idea maybe where Madeira Beach is. And I want to see, show you how we get these amazing sunsets, because we are right on the Gulf of Mexico. So that is the entire Gulf of Mexico. If we went straight oh. across, we'd run into uh, that. somewhere was in that Texas. Last night? That was last That's night. That's incredible. But yeah, That's the rays beautiful. coming out. So there you go, a little map down at the bottom for you if you're in the rest of the country. You see we're on the west coast of Florida. You've got the little peninsula there of Pinellas County, part of Tampa Bay. And then we're way out on that west side, right about the middle of the county. So anyway, those of you that aren't familiar with the west coast of Florida, now you can see how you get that kind of sunset. And you can you don't need a baptismal font or anything else. You've just got the entire the of Let's just note the studio is not far from it either. It's true. That's true. Where we're broadcasting from. That little, yes, that's from. That's that little so red true. dot not far away. But man, what a night. That was oh, beautiful. Wow. beautiful. Life's changed. You know, you plan the night months ahead of time. Mm -hmm. and God's just like, that night is going to be spectacular. I never so. asked you, was the water cold? Um, it, when you first stepped in, you felt like it was because uh, I say cold. The whole world's freezing. <laughs> the outside, I think, was that. like 70 or yeah, 69, yeah, so that's right. cold for us. Right. When you got in, but the, by the end, the water was tremendously warmer than the outside. Oh, wow. Until oh, you got out. The yeah, then I got, got out. Of, no, even in, because we would walk up and down oh, and greet everyone. True. Yeah. True. And it was The water was uh, warmer than outside. That but, was yeah, there was so a beautiful. mother and, and daughter that got baptized. I mean, beautiful. just it's amazing, amazing. Nothing quite like that outward confession of your faith and you know people walking up and down the beach we had a guitar out there you know singing some worship songs you know one of the so girls came out and you know uh i was doing it with one of our good friends pastor mark and he said to her it's so good not seeing this you know dark cloud over you all the time oh. and she said i feel that it's gone now yes oh, thank you Jesus. awesome yeah. that's great, beautiful great, great. Okay, that'll just that just kind of made me. That's just why Lori's kind of on the overflow. Today. It was She's awesome. Like, I am <laughs> now I'm overflow. excited for the week. So. <laughs> you end a Sunday <laughs> night like that, uh, pretty pretty spectacular. Yeah. What do we have coming up on today's show, honey? We have some really cool stuff. Um, okay, so last week we had some technical difficulties, so we couldn't show you the dolphin footage. So we want to bring that Fun. to you today because it really is absolutely amazing. So we're going to do that. Also, there's a new trend drinking pickle juice and it's National Pickle Day, oh. so today. So we're going to talk about that. And then we have a clip from Billy Graham and from Mr. T. Yeah, how do you have Billy Graham and Mr. T in the wow. same little coming up? the fool. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, what a, a contrast, memory. right? Billy, what do Billy Graham and Mr. T have in common? Uh, they both love Jesus. But anyway, we'll get to yes. that later. That's cool. Dolphin. Last week, I messed up. I, I Anyway, I messed up the footage last week. So we talked about the dolphin. If you didn't see that last week, we, we went on a little dolphin watching tour. Oh. And you never know if you're going to see one. And it was amazing. We saw one, and Lori says, you know, well, I'm, I'm calling the dolphin in. We're praying for him. I'm like, well, how do you pray for a dolphin to come in? Look and see what God, watch, you get watch the what glory. Happened. Look at what God did. Watch this video. Happy Monday. Today is going to be a great day. Yeah, as you can see, we're out on the water, so we're going to show you. Hopefully, we're going to go dolphin watching. Hopefully, watching. Hopefully, we find some. So stay tuned to see if we see any dolphins today. But that's part of us. Love what you like to be out on the water today. Show you something a little different. So we. 
definitely found a dolphin. He came up once, so now we're going to try to get him to come back up again. So we're just circling around. What do you mean you're going to try to get him? How do you get him, try to get we're him to come him back? In. We pray. We just pray. We prayed and asked the Lord, and we thanked him for bringing in dolphins. And God will get the glory for it. <laughs> that was awesome. That's amazing. That my was little girl, look at her. I love that little girl. That's pastor's little girl. Oh my gosh, I love that little King girl. of the world on the front if of the If you boat ever there. come to the coast of Florida, go on a dolphin tour. Yeah. It really is amazing. Plus, I have been on the water my entire life, and I have never seen that type of just show that the Lord put on with all beautiful. these dolphins. I mean, it was just amazing. And, and there were, I think, what did we end up counting? Maybe 10? By yeah, the it was time. incredible. Yeah. yeah, and it wasn't it was, just, as you saw, they're on top of each other. I don't know if they were feeding or we, playing or wrestling or never what. Never seen that. So that, that area on. is the Boca Siega Bay. Mm -hmm. And it oh. says it's home to like three or 500 dolphins that live in that little cove. Yeah, there are dolphin cruises out of there that guarantee you'll see a dolphin or your money back. So mm -hmm. we got our money's worth. Oh, it was We so did that when beautiful. I first got to the area. I got in a boat and the dolphin floated by. We didn't even leave the dock yet. It's <laughs> like, <laughs> so can I get out now? <laughs> anyway, so that's a gift. Hey, that's what we were trying to show you last Gifts week. From God when he just amazing, beautiful, amazing. And I don't know if you could hear what I said, but what I said is it's amazing to watch these animals yeah. in their own environment. Yeah. A lot of people have a hard time with zoos and you know caging animals. This is God's creation in their environment, and we got to wa watch it. It was incredible. It was just like the Lord just blessed us with his presence and we gave him the glory and i think that's yeah. the most important thing when god does something give him the glory mm -hmm. it's really really neat what do we have for our week ahead what do we have coming up honey week ahead um this week ahead we have some fun stuff we have uh take a hike Wa uh, no it's take a hike day take a hike right? day yeah take a hike this day. thursday or go for a walk um, isn't that what you say to someone when you don't like them what, take we'll a, take no, a this hike? Is, this, yeah, but this is like literal <laughs> healthy <laughs> hiking. Get out into nature. So and, you know. Where are you hiking here? You know what a hike? No, you can't. I the mean, parking lot is your biggest hill here. The but swamp you know what? Is what you're doing for it. <laughs> you could go to a park and that would be like a hike. I think most people think of a hike as going up on a mountain. So you'd have to go way up in North Florida and get in some hilly Just take areas. Yeah, go take a walk. That's what it is. Go to the park and take a walk. We also have Apple Cider Day. Yes. Yes. Wait, that's nasty. Apple cider? Apple cider's fantastic. Oh, you are a southern kid. You don't ever go in the northeast talk like that. Oh, really? When I, when That's I get... blasphemy, bro. That's the... hilarious. That's blasphemy. You know, Brooke told me yesterday there's a moment in the northeast when you walk outside, you can smell winter. It's yeah. a smell, mm -hmm. and it's like it's like smelling it marks rain. the cold for the wow. next so it's forever. It's, it's here. It's, it's winter there. is yeah, here. It's there. It's like but yeah. apple cider starts as soon as it gets a little lower, and they're drinking it right now. I they heat it up at Christmas. It. Yeah, it's in southern. I, don't I know buy it. It's I incredible. I love it. I love it. Just like I love eggnog. Love eggnog. 
and that's really bad. All right, we're going really to celebrate did. Christmas and for like four weeks coming up on the show, <laughs> we so we're going to have to have some apple have cider because so I don't know. Maybe yeah. I am a fan and I don't know. Pot? He just doesn't. Isn't that called wassail? You know what? Oh, you like a, cool, cool. apple juice? <laughs> <laughs> what are they called? Oh, what's the, what's the, the church? church apple. You like apples? Is my point. <laughs> you just made it last apple. week. Church apples. Church Love apples. those That's things. Right. Apple. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay, so today is National Pickle Day. So, and there's a big trend going on right now. So we thought we'd kind of revisit that. We actually were going to do this. And I really wanted to spare Pastor James and not make him drink I'm pickle in, juice. Let's go. We were going to have a pickle juice tasting <laughs> test, but that would have uh, been we, awesome. We well, decided people, against it. Athletes are doing this. This really is a crave, a craze, and it's not a bad thing, but it can be a bad thing. So we did. First of all, let me do my history lesson. Okay. We can't, we can't just course, jump in Rob all this without history. Okay. history of a pickle. Of course, <laughs> history of the pickle. Yeah. It dates back to 4,000 years ago in the Mesopotamia oh, area, no which is, way. yes, by the Tigris and Euphrates rivers. They did it as a preservation method. Way back, old, old school biblical times, pickles were around. They yeah. preserved the cucumbers. You know what's interesting? Did we ever do? Is that in the Bible? Is I was our about pickles? To say, I thought that was coming next. It might be. It could be <laughs> false. No, we should. <laughs> we should play a game with it. Wait, but, isn't Larry the cucumber about, a pickle? Yes, he is. <laughs> I had to be talk about being the salt of the earth. How do you do? So, oh, that's the next thing. Okay, so, how so, do you make your own pickle at home? Pretty simple. Ugh. Okay. Yeah, it's funny. So, slice your cucumbers up, and then you make a brine. And a brine is equal parts of vinegar and water mixed with salt. So you pour the brine over the. Um, pickles. That's and all it is. How does it, it get the green fl uh, color? From cucumber. the cucumber. Bleeds they just out into the water mm -hmm. and vinegar. Yeah. yeah. yeah from what? The, so you cut from your cucumber up, put it in a That's jar. That's incredible. Put, in, yeah, put it in the refrigerator. Yeah. You can eat it almost right away, but the have longer you, how you, you get the say. dill taste? The vinegar? The vinegar and the salt. How do you get the salt. sweet pickle? The salt. The, the sweet no, gherkin? No, they're separate. I don't oh, know. You can add different herbs. But how about the Jewish pickle is like. You can, garlicky, right? You put you garlic add, you can in add there. Different herbs. So oh. There's garlic. You, you can, can add. I love pickles. Yeah, oh, I love pickles. And actually, you know why you like pickles? Pickles actually are healthy. There's nothing wrong with pickles. They're very, very healthy. And because of the vinegar, like the, a lot of people drink apple cider vinegar, which I drink apple cider vinegar as well. So I really like that. Um, it is healthy. So that's part of it. So yeah, our fireplace just went out, which is hilarious. So here's a fact about pickle juice. It's low in calories. What? Is this it, healthy? Yeah, it is healthy. It has some protein in it. It has one gram of fat in it. It's 15 sugar? carbs. Sugar? Why so much sugar? Because it's a fruit. Oh, that's the... So it does turn it... Now here's the danger of this. This pickles or pickle juice mm -hmm. has a ton of sodium in it. And sodium oh, can be... It, 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 but a lot of people that have issues with sodium really should do that yeah, in moderation. But the other part that's really good, and this is why athletes are doing this, um, if you've ever played a sport for a very long time and had cramping, when I played tennis, I mean, there were days I would, five hours later, all of a sudden my legs are cramping. I'm one, dehydrated, two, I needed potassium. That's a great way of getting potassium. So it is healthy, but if you have an issue with sodium, watch it. I'm not trying to ask a silly question. Is there low salt pickles or that not? I don't no, know. There's all kinds. That's a yeah, good there's question. different calories, different gotcha. sauce, depending on what yeah. the herbs and the spices mm -hmm. and things you ferment it with. But here's a comparison. So the big craze now is yes. drink pickle juice instead of a sports drink. So I'm like, wait a minute, I don't know about that. So I did some research real quickly this morning. It was fun. And compared to a sports drink, like almost that. identical in calories, proteins, fat. Everything is almost identical except the sodium. Uh, and the potassium. Are so, we slamming pickle juice on no, the pickle no, day? No, no, no. Look no, at how much more actually, potassium it has. Pickle so, juice is uh, better. It is beneficial. Gotcha. Yes. You just have to be careful with the potassium. Right. A lot of salt. Yeah. You don't want to ingest too much salt. So, but so, yeah, it is extremely healthy. On those healthy. two notes, less sugar, um, less sodium, and less potassium in a sports drink. I'm not really a big proponent on those, but you know, in moderation, well, we everything's moderation. Just before workout, let us know if it helps. Oh no, I don't think I'm trying it's it at all. No, no. Oh, we have a family <laughs> member that just loves pickle juice. Yeah, we have a family member that just loves pickle juice. Oh no, wait, it, that's based on one cup. Now, if you want oh, to give yeah. me just a little bit, a whole cup of pickle juice. All right, here's the roll, and I, I need to it. see nets from your <laughs> archives because you've been doing this for a few years. Did we do anything? I want one on apple cider vinegar. Oh, definitely. I bet you've done one on apple cider. We have now. not, but we what? will. 
Apple cider well, vinegar Southern. is the way they say apple cider everything. vinegar. You know, my mom woke us up at 5 a.m. every morning when I was growing up, and we would stretch and just wake up and get healthy. And that was one of the things. Every morning we had apple cider. It's right here. Yeah, apple yep. cider vinegar wow. and honey and water every morning. I did not enjoy it as a child because it was just gross tasting. But I drink it all the time now. It's very good for your gut. So if you have digestive issues, drink an apple cider drink or make it. Or, or pickle juice. <laughs> so yeah, just, I think hey, I'd rather pickle have juice apple day. cider. Give us your feedback. We're live, of course, if, especially if you're on Facebook. Go to Facebook. Give us your feedback. Pickle juice, yay or nay. Yay or nay. Yay or nay. Like <laughs> we have a CTN. I don't think I've met anybody that doesn't like pickle juice except you. We have a CTN spotlight for you. We like to highlight what's going on in the network. <clears throat> there is a show. It's called Good News on Entertainment that CTN produces, and it airs on, I believe, Friday nights on Dish Network. But you don't have to have Dish Network. Keep in mind, you can watch Stream CTN it. anywhere on anything. You watch it on your phone, on your iPad, on, you know, we're streaming. So you can right. watch us on any platform. You don't have to have Dish Network. But it is on Friday nights, I believe, at 10 p.m. But they did a segment recently with The Chosen, which has really gained in popularity. They now are entering season three. If you aren't familiar with The Chosen, here you go. Watch this. This will tell you a little bit more about it. Storytelling is always always, without exception, um, the most effective way to get someone's attention. Now, of course, the story you're telling matters, and uh, the intention matters, and the end matters. Um, but yeah, I've, I think I've always been intrigued by storytelling, the desire to tell stories, the desire to hear stories, and it just so happens that I have been telling a story about a storyteller. And uh, it's really fun um, to make a show where our main character is often telling stories, um, but also to tell stories about him in a way that hasn't been told before. So, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of, an, it's kind of a, a cycle of creativity of you get to tell stories about a storyteller and use his stories to, 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 to illustrate biblical truths. You know, I, I, I think we've been granted the, the blessing of this veil of, of having no specific attachment to a denomination in telling the story and that it appeals to everyone and but, but yet everyone feels like that's this mm -hmm. is the Jesus I know in, in my mm -hmm. church every every denomination can yeah. claim it as being authentic to themselves mm -hmm. and when does that happen you know what I mean yeah um, and I, th I, I think that's I think that's a supernatural gift that we've been given um, and it starts w with the people creating it that have hearts and spirits opened mm -hmm. to collaborating on a project like this without pretense mm -hmm. and w without agenda. Yeah. It's let's just, let's tell a good story about these folks. And here's our roadmap. The Bible is our roadmap. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there, there are a lot of scenes in season three of The Chosen that I can't wait for people to see. Some of them uh, are going to be surprises and you won't be expecting. Uh, the ones that I can mention, like you, you had said, the feeding of the 5,000 is going to blow people away. It blew all of us away being on set and seeing over 5,000 people there in person. Um, you know, you, you had mentioned other projects that I had worked on and most other big projects, like if there's a big crowd scene, they'll maybe have 500 people there and then add the rest with CGI. Uh, with this, we had literally 5,000 people there. So uh, that was really, really unique and, and a special day for all of us. You're looking around and there's thousands of people and they're all dressed in period clothes and and you're, I mean, literally passing out bread and fish to them. And it's just, it, you can't, I can't even begin to describe what that feels like. I'm the one who caused their hunger. I should be the one to feed them. So season three of The Chosen, there you got a little behind the scenes look at the program. But I mean, that, I love that feeding of the 5,000. Wow. They actually had 5,000 yes. people. There was it's no incredible. CGI, you know, animated things put in after in post-production. Um, but wow, just amazing, amazing. And you can see more of that. It's a long 
documentary on good news on entertainment, which as I said, will be on Dish Network this Friday at 10 p.m. So if you wanna see a little bit more, that was just kind of a little teaser on more about The Chosen. And you can see The Chosen, it's uh, what, NBC? You can see it on Amazon Prime. Yeah, Peacock, Amazon Prime. So and then of course, Pure Flix. Right. Yep. And then a lot of others, YouTube subscription. I think it's worth checking out. I yeah, like that either. regular television is actually promoting the gospel of Jesus. That's mm -hmm. amazing. Um, not to be that guy, but the scholars say it was 5,000 uh, men right. with mm -hmm. women and children. It was like 15. But right. Who am I? Let's watch <laughs> Chosen. <laughs> hey, but even having 5,000 people oh, it was incredible. is better than... The sight was amazing. Yes. Yes. Like, and you've not seen the, that before. And you take the word literally. I think that's awesome. I mean, it's, I think it's important to know the yeah. word. Don't just watch TV and say, okay, I am now know the Bible. You've got to get into the word and know the Bible. And then you'll know the difference when you see that. Yeah. Well, we have anyway, more good news for like you today. Person. Lori talked about it earlier. What do Billy Graham and Mr. T have in common? Oh, yeah. How you make that uh, transition? I thought it was amazing. They're both focusing on the gospel. So Billy Graham actually has now a state of, an art of the art archive, and there are 30,000 square feet of this archive building where they're taking all the footage, everything yeah, that he's exactly. done, which I think is absolutely astounding. I am... I love Billy Graham. I mean, I grew up watching him, and I still, anytime we hear him on the Lifestyle Network, we watch him, and we hear him on CTN. Yeah, that's I love his that. library in North Carolina. So if you're yes. anywhere around there, or you're on a trip sometime, stop Is this going to be library. separate from the library or in the library? I think it's part of it. It's a separate, it's, it's a, it's a 30,000 really square foot edition. You know my crazy story. Yeah. The day he came and dedicated oh, it for the right. first time, we met him. Yeah, I'm at the Marriott. He was up in a mountain, not feeling great. He came down to do the ribbon cutting, like and we needed a hotel and had lunch together. Oh, that's incredible. That's amazing. Yeah, I'll show you that picture. Yeah, shows how the that. Lord puts people Talk about in one of the generals. Of oh, Just man, amazing. icon oh, right there. God. Yes. All Just time beautiful. great. So, beautiful. And also, our next one, maybe not a general or icon, but hey, it is Mr. T. You I mean, remember, you guys remember Mr. Mr. T. T's iconic, A team. <laughs> the A team, yeah. yeah. Love Mr. But T. I love what he's doing. Now. Here you go. He preached at his home church for the first time. So Mr. T's been a believer for years, which, yeah. uh, let alone being in Hollywood and being a believer, is hard enough. But he said, "What a great honor, but a responsibility as well to preach at his home church." And uh, they talked to him before the sermon. They said, "You know," he said he was a little bit nervous, but he's going to let the Holy Spirit move and guide him. So there you see Mr. T preaching at his church. I think that's amazing. I think that's awesome. I mean, people that have been in TV in the past or even in currently, and they're literally preaching the gospel. Uh, and he, there's an article I was reading about him. He literally was um, talking about being a Christian in Hollywood and how he was not going to compromise who he was Beautiful. because, first of all, he was a Christian and a believer of Jesus. Right and was following the Holy Spirit. And I think that's beautiful. And he's Mr. T, so who's gonna give him well, a hard time? I was about time? to say, I love these guys like <laughs> Bounty yeah. Hunter and Mr. They're T. They're real They're guys. tough dudes, yeah. which are like loving Jesus, and yeah. it's pretty I cool to see. I love that. Yeah, we real pro people. We profile a lot of athletes on this show, so yeah. it's neat to profile some people yeah. from Hollywood. I think that's so, so cool. cool. Very cool. All right, our Bible study today. Grab your devotional. Oh yeah. We're gonna be in Pastor James' devotional for today. It is Bright Line. Bright Lines, going to be found in Joshua 1.8 is the scripture today. And of course, we know that pretty well. It says, the book of law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate on it day and night, that you may observe to do according to all that's written. For then you will make your way prosperous. You'll have good success, Joshua 1.8. Bright Lines, they're lines that you have set that you don't cross. First Kings 13, King Jeroboam crossed many lines. So did an older prophet whom the king was paying to report only good things. Of course, you're not a prophet if you're only sharing what people want to hear. You're a divinator who's no longer using your God-given gift. Well, one day a young prophet, real prophet, entered Bethel, and he was the real deal. He listened to God. He was radical. He wasn't scared. He walked up to King Jeroboam in front of everyone, said your kingdom was going to fall. The king was furious, but he tried to arrest the young prophet. His hand withered away. He fell to his knees and repented, and the young prophet healed his hand. Unlike the older prophet, the young prophet was operating under the authority of God. My friends, no which lines that you will and you won't cross. Be careful whom you're listening to. Even Christian voices can be misleading. Ooh. So true. There was a wow. book. I always think about how these things were inspired. There was a book. It was like a bestseller health book called Bright Line Eating. And the whole idea was in, in lawyer terms, there were bright lines that you don't cross. We have them. 
Mm-hmm. We know we can't murder. We know, you know, right. and we have these inadvertent lines in our mind that we just, we don't cross these lines, wow. you know, and we as believers have to have these bright lines. There's so much, the devil wants nothing more than your Christianity to be fuzzy. Well, it's okay. There's nothing, con- you know, in this younger generation, you talk about people 30 and under, they don't want any rule. They want their journey. Yeah, right. and, and this morning on the podcast, I actually recorded it today, you know, this idea of like, I'm just living my truth. Man, it's from the pit of hell. There's no such thing. Yeah. We're living truth. God's truth. Right. Mm-hmm. And, you know, and so we have to have these non-negotiables where we draw a line mm-hmm. and we say it's not negotiable. Sin is sin. Right. You know what I mean? This is what we believe. And, and even about, you know, talk about the gifts of the spirit, right? We saw people get filled with the Holy Ghost this weekend. Mm-hmm. You know, look, those are things that it, I don't care if you think it offends the world. Right. You know, we had to, we were at dinner. But, oh, you were in the conversation with me. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> you can invite somebody to dinner. They can be offended that somebody's speaking in tongues. And I'm like, bro, one city over is you can sleep with whatever, your, your, your pronouns, your horse, you know. And, 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 and so a person in a meeting that sees the Holy Spirit move, we got Christians trained to think that's a problem, but they're going to walk outside into this crazy world? No way. Yeah. We yeah. gotta have these lines that we're like, we don't cross them. Jesus is the plumb line. Yes. Absolutely. Well, you, go well, ahead, sorry. I think what what he says is absolutely yes. On top of that, to have that line that you don't cross, how do you know the line if you don't know the word? Mm-hmm. And Good. so Good. if you think about what the scripture was about is Joshua 1, 8. So, I always do this and I will always do this. Everything, whether God shows me something or says something to me, I'm, I'm Lord, show me by your word. So I need to know by the word. And then even a devotional or something you read, go back to the word and yeah. find that. So in saying that, I just think that's really important because in Joshua 1.8, go all the way to the beginning, go all the way past that. It's promises is what God promised, what he was going to do for Moses, what he instructs. Joshua to do and then what he instructs the people to do and that's to know the promise so and you don't know that if you don't aren't studying the word and and really putting that in your heart when you think about the Israelites came into the wilderness Mm -hmm. and were rebellious and what did God say he said Moses I'm going to give you just 10 simple commands Mm. just live by these there wasn't like you said that's not fuzzy thou shalt not kill that's not fuzzy that's pretty simple pretty dry that's a bright line (laughs) i'm going to give you 10 bright lines let's start with those (laughs) can we start with those and then we'll expand you know you're you're, you're a baby i need to feed you with this and then we'll expand from there so bright lines practice them today by learning as Lori said the word of god we love you guys we pray for you with third john one two beloved i pray that in all respects you may prosper and be in good health just as your soul prospers